Do secondary dominants have to resolve to their own tonic? I am studying modal shifting, borrowed chords and secondary dominance, and I am a little confused of their function, if they do not resolve their own tonic. Would the function then just be a borrowed chord? For example I have the following progression. IV7, VI IV IV, IV7, VI V IV, IV7, VI VI VI, IV VI VI, since the V7, VI, is not followed by the VI, what is its function? Is it still a secondary dominant? Is it classified as a modal shift, or a borrowed chord? This chorus section is in D. The verse is in BM. Which I realize is the VI chord of D, which might change the whole analysis, itself. I'm a little lost. Any help would be much appreciated. Thanks. Secondary dominants often do resolve to their own tonic, but they can also resolve deceptively, an action sometimes hidden with traditional Roman numeral analysis. This is what happens in your first instance. We're in D major, as you said. The V7, V is F sharp 7, which should resolve to BM. But this chord actually resolves to IV, which is G. But let's think more globally, in what contexts can an F sharp 7 resolve to G, since that F sharp 7 was briefly in the context of B minor, let's imagine that G chord in the context of B minor, as well. When we do so, we see that this motion to G is really a deceptive resolution of that F sharp 7 chord. In other words, the F sharp 7 to G is really V7 VI within the context of B minor. We can call this an extended tonicization, and we label it by bracketing both chords as a V, showing the V7 VI resolution above it. I discuss a similar concept here. This does not address the V7, V to V, nor does it address the V7, V to V, it's unclear if that latter chord is B major or B flat major. 